always, it's Michelle Visage. Welcome back to another episode of What You Packin'. And joining us today, all the way from Marseille, it is Nikki Jaw. It's Marseille, isn't it? Is it? It is. Hi. Yeah. Como ça va? Ça va et toi, Michelle? I'm good, pas mal. You look amazing. Thanks, thank you, so do you. It's my first time seeing you out of drag. Okay. It's very different to you in drag. Thanks. I love that. You know, I love a transformation. That's what it's Me all too. about. So when I get to see you kids out of drag for the first time, it's like, there you are. I see you. Uh -huh. And it's so much fun for me. You're our first French queen mm -hmm. um, from France. You live where now? Now I live in New York. I'm based in New York. New York City. I moved to the U.S. three years ago. And how did that happen? How did you come to move to the States? So uh, I met this guy uh -huh. in Paris. As the was... story goes. Exactly. And uh, we kind of like hang out and dated for a while and then... He moved to France for me, and then after a while, he asked me if I wanted to move with him because of his work. And so we decided to relocate in San Francisco for a year and a half. And then my work led us to New York. So you're still together? Still together, seven How years, wonderful. married. Oh, yay! Yeah. Wow, so now you're really official, an we American. Mm, well, the green card. Okay. Yeah, Legal listen, immigrant. Yes. Do you want to become a citizen? I don't know yet. I'm um, kind of like, we'll see. It's hard. I'm sure. Very difficile. Mm -hmm, difficile. What I've what I've heard, guys, that means difficult. I know my French is really good. So you're in the United States. You live in New York City. Do you perform there? And where do, do you perform? So I do perform. I do host also a lot of events. Really? Yeah. So I work with Lady Fag, Susan Barr. She depends on like the parties. I'm not the type of queen that has like a really good regular bar nights, mm -hmm. but I love to be like a guest for the different events. So I, how long have you been doing drag? I've been doing drag. What, which one do you want? Do you want the Halloween drag nine years ago that no one wants to see? <laughs> or do you want the official I worked? You know what, baby? You start. Everybody starts somewhere. Yeah. So you obviously dabbled in the Halloween drag. Totally. And that's how you learned, oh, I like this. Uh -huh. Did you start in Paris? I started in Paris. So after coming, after living in Morocco and really struggling as a, as, a, as a queer kid, not being able to fully embrace who I was, when I moved to Paris, everybody was taking gay pride or Halloween as a, as a way to, you know, like yes. girls, like to be slutty and to show your best assets. And I just wanted to embrace fully what I've been targeted for which was being feminine. Mm. And so Nikido was born. I just wanted to be full on glamour and, uh, and that's when it started. What was it like for you to be able to perform and meet Nicki Minaj? When I created Nikki Doll, I wanted to have this pr Miami prostitute name from around the corner. Right. That, you know, and Doll because I have so many different faces. I like to be fashion, I like to be the vixen, I like to be, you know, anime. So I have different faces for Nikki Doll. And so seeing Nicki Minaj, because I named myself after her, was really full circle, really. Yeah. What was your favorite part of doing Drag Race? Your favorite challenge? Where do put I start? It My favorite challenge was definitely the first episode, which was the runway. Because uh, when I came into this competition, I knew that I would be struggling with the language and I would have, I would not, I would lose the eloquence that I have in my own language of or like course. the wheat that I have in my own language. Yes. I would lose some of it. And so fashion was the language that was my way to communicate without any struggle. And that's why I, I wanted to showcase that the best way possible. And it was showing personality through my take on the themes. And so the spring and fall uh, fashion runway was definitely my favorite part. Let's talk about your looks. Mm -hmm. So fashion is obviously a big part of who Nikki Doll is. Totally. And you absolutely delivered that. Thank you. And beautifully so. Let's talk about this this French Revolution meets America yes. gown. So I basically wanted to showcase how uh, day after day I'm embracing both culture. So this is my type of Lady of Liberty meets both cultures, which is the American flag with the 50 states. And then if you look at the length and the train, it's more like the French flag. So I wanted to embrace my culture fully for this gown. Because for the kids who don't know, the Statue of Liberty was a gift from the French. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. That's why I came here. I was reclaiming for you guys no. to pay for it. <laughs> I was like, only $100,000 would be enough. But I don't know that. if that would be enough. No. <laughs> and this little Versace number in the middle. All right. So that was, that's the epitome of who Nikki Doll is. Uh -huh. I wanted to showcase the really my signature drag. And so it's very black and gold, has a lot of metal and, and a 90s vibe to it. One of my favorite eras of Same. 
fashion was so. kind of that period in time. But black and gold is so special. Like it's one of my favorite combinations. Yeah. And I think that's also why that whole Versace moment in the 90s mm -hmm. was so epic because everything was black and gold. And it looks so royal, so opulent. And it'll always hold up, always. always. Yep. And this beautiful gown behind me, yes. she is gorgeous. Is black a thing of yours? It's definitely a thing of mine. I'm always wearing black. Yeah. It was a big struggle getting ready for this show because I was looking at my look and I was like, I can't wear just black, they're gonna kill me. Yes. She's gonna kill I me. I will kill you. But I love black. I, I think black is so classy and yet you can have so many different personalities wearing black. So I wanted to go um, halfway between Mugler and Tim Burton. So she's, <laughs> she's a spooky widow, but she is still very high, high fashion. And so yeah, we, we built this look with my friend Julian from Paris and uh, it's just tool and crinoline and a corset and a lot of glamour. Who makes all your stuff? Do you sew? Uh, I mean, I can I can customize stuff, uh -huh. but I'm not uh -huh. a great seamstress. <laughs> Let's know. Let's <laughs> I would never perform on something I would sew myself. Right, because yeah. it would fall apart. Exactly. Got it. Well, that's absolutely stunning. Did Women, you make men. some good friends here, Nikki Doll? I made some great friends on the show. Who did you get close with? I got really close with Gigi, because I think that we have this passion for fashion that yes. really brought us together. Yes. But really everyone. I loved Heidi. I think that her story touched me so much. She's so lovely. That's why it was so nerve-wracking for me to lipstick against her because deep down the human was like she needs to stay and she has to fight and the performer was like that bitch I yes. need to stay. It That's was it. really struggling but yeah no I, overall like a great cast. I say that all the time Nikki about all stars and I talk to those girls like if that were me the competitor would definitely send home the strongest competitor. Yeah. But then there's a lot of people who think well I want to compete against the best. Yeah that I want to send home the competition <laughs> so I could win so it's tough I understand yeah. your brain goes through yeah, two it, different things yeah. I think it was such a joy for you to be on our main stage and to be part of the season 12 cast it's such a great group of girls amazing and you did such a wonderful job. I wish it was longer, but it's the way it is. People are gonna get to see you. You're part of the Drag Race family now. Yep. You're gonna go out there, you're gonna be performing all over the world, mm -hmm. speaking your French and your English, your Fringlish. Me Fringlish. You're gonna be doing it all over the place. How do we find you on social medias? It's the Nikki Doll on all social media. And in English, that's the Nikki Doll. <laughs> N-I-C-K-I. N-I-C-K-Y. See, that's why I asked. Nikki Doll. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much, my Thank love. Thank you so much. You were a joy, and we'll see you out there on the road. All right. Thank you guys for joining me for another episode of What You Packing. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey babies, do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race? Subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel right now for everything RuPaul's Drag Race, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'?